Hey everyone. So in order to use Dialogic in our project, we need to go to GitHub. This will be linked down in the description. Click on code and then download zip. Once that's finished downloading, extract it. Go into the add-ons. Open up your project. Then drag the add-ons folder to your project. Get that import. Go to project, project settings, plugins, enable Dialogic. Give it a few seconds. And close. Now you should see Dialogic tab right at the top. Let's create a new timeline. Name it timeline or whatever you want. Click save. And then this will be our main text box. We also have characters here. We can add in our own characters with their images and names. Glossary. So if you want a player to hover above a word and then give the definition. Styles, variables and settings. But let's stick down there for now. Let's add in some text. So and let's, let's give us some choices. We'll say Add a number choice. Then we'll talk to me. And then we can test it out by placing play timeline on top here. Hello. Don't talk to me. How's your day? And that's it. We can continue the conversation by just clicking adding another text. Bring it down here. Saying bye. And then click play timeline. Now, how do we run this in code? I've created a simple scene here. I've added a button and a signal. And it's very simple. We just say dialogic.start. And then you type in the name of your timeline. For me, I just named it timeline. So now, hopefully, I start the scene. Click on the button. Hello. Don't talk to me. And that's it for today's video. Come back next time and I'll explain how to use signals.